Having the privilege to work on Minnesota's first LEED Platinum project has been an exciting event for our entire company. It gave us a chance to work with an integrated design team whose forward thinking and true team approach helped deliver the highest possible rating, LEED Platinum. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. There's four different levels of LEED and, and it all just as a criteria of, of building your building. You can go gold, silver, we're going for platinum. This Great River Energy project's the first LEED platinum project that I was able to participate in and uh, it had a lot of very unique characteristics different from what we normally work on on the majority of our construction projects, office buildings. We put in a geothermal lake system, over 500 tons of heating and cooling capacity. What we have done is we've installed 39 heat exchanger grids on the lake. The coil pods or heat exchangers come pre-manufactured. We use a boat and we tow them out into the lake in the approximate location where they are going to be sunk. So right now we see 39 grid out on the water, all floating. We will be uh, testing and then we'll be flushing with water and then sinking at the same time. Then we will be adding our glycol solution until they are all submerged in the bottom of the lake. They should be able to start filling in the hole and covering up the piping, uh, burying the vault, and they'll come into the vault and go to two 10-inch headers, and the two 10-inch lines then come into the building and will go to the pumps that will circulate that water through the whole building. And when it's all done, the only trace that we were here will be two manholes that will be sticking out of the, the dirt. We put in a 20,000 gallon storm water retention system that collects the storm water that's used in the flush valves for the water closets and the urinals in the facility. The uh, water closets have a, a dual flush system on them. The up lovers, basic bathroom facilities and the two is for solids and the upper lever will provide like a 30 percent water savings for this particular building and then the faucets are low flow faucets. Then we got displacement ventilation that's used in all the areas for the workers that give them a better comfort level. It's very critical how a low displacement system works in lead. What happens is, is as the air comes out we have a basically a four foot zone that we call the mixing zone that the air swirls around and picks up the heat from that and radiates up. Above that four feet we call it the stratification zone where it has it, the air just stays up here with heat and everything. So you see just a diffuser but I don't think you see all the man hours and all that that took to coordinate it to make sure that it got placed so we get the comfort level that the lead people were looking for in their design. Now the diffusers that are located out here take care of the exterior zone. They are fed off a whole totally different system. They basically wash the exterior of the building and make sure that the exterior envelope is taken care of along these particular registers. Another unique feature is instead of having a boiler and also a chiller, what we have here are water-to-water -water furnaces that basically do the same Thing that a boiler and a chiller would do. Over here we have a makeup air unit. Um, what this does, instead of having exhaust just go straight out of the building and a waste of energy, we have an energy recovery heat wheel that allows the exhaust air to pass over and warm up the outside air that's coming in. So this is another way to keep the energy costs down and also to make sure that the buildings using as little outside air as it needs to use, where we understand that outside air is your main driving cost to heat that air up to displace what's going on in exhaust. But beyond that is also just environmental pollution. And so what we try to do here is you'll see that we've used a lot of silt curtains 
we used the turbidity curtain in the water when we were digging so that we could control the amount of disturbance in the water so we weren't muddying up the whole lake. We used sediment logs. We didn't want to have excess runoff if it rained and then bring that mud into the lake. We were really sensitive of keeping the lake as pristine and as natural as possible, which is hard to do on a construction site. As a whole, uh, the recycling on this site is, is, is tremendous. Uh, everybody's really, you know, every lunchroom has the barrels to recycle the pop cans and water bottles, and, and you know, trash goes in one thing, all the cardboard being recycled, the wood is recycled, concrete is recycled. They look at water in other parts of the world like liquid gold, and we have this great resource that we just have an abundance of, and we don't really understand the benefits that we gain from it and have, having so much of it that we just take it for granted every day. It wasn't about saving the trees or saving this, it was about actually building the building better and wiser. And on this particular project, instead of putting a chiller in, two chillers basically, um, we're extracting between six and 650 tons of cooling off the lake. And also we're getting our heat off of the lake. And a resource that's available, we don't have to. Uh, now we'll take and bring you know, all this extra power in to run the chillers and everything else. All we have to do is run pumps. It's just about being a good corporate citizen. In other words, we're not asking anymore. You're still going to build a building, but just build it a little bit differently. And so that's why I think a lot of people are going to jump aboard on LEED is because it just makes good common sense. This project truly has been a catalyst towards implementing LEED and sustainability practices into all facets of our business, which I think at the end of the day is exactly what the United States Green Building Council and LEED is striving for. It's a concentrated effort on everybody on the job and everybody really is striving to get the platinum rating. So it's been a fun project for us and a fun project for our field personnel. So it's been fun to work out here with Great River. I think that this is just the beginning. I think people, you know, have really started realizing that it's really about the design, you know. It's just a different concept. This is Great River Energy. Um, is that I think they want to be the leaders in this technology. I think they want to show people that, you know, as an energy company that they're a good citizen, that they care about the environment just like anybody else.